Hey, so in this video I'm going to answer the question whether or not now is the right time to become an environmental engineer. Specifically I'm saying right now because of this whole current craziness, this whole pandemic, this whole economic downturn. But currently, as of right now, just for the United States, there's currently 26 million people, over 26 million people, who filed for unemployment as of right now, April 27, 2020. And that number is probably going to go up the next week also. So I'm probably expecting maybe 30 million by the end of May. And that's just America alone. I don't really know about the other countries out there, but I know as of right now, if there's like 30 million people out there who are unemployed, you're probably wondering whether or not you getting an environmental engineering job is actually worth it. Will you also be one of those people who may be fine for unemployment even after you get your degree? I know a lot of my viewers out there are probably just young students who are on their way towards environmental engineering. Maybe they're questioning whether or not they want to pursue this route, but at the end of the day, they want to make sure that they have a job, right? And so that's probably why you guys are wondering whether or not is now the right time Will I be affected? Will I be unemployed? Will I get laid off? Is my job essential? I don't want to be one of those people who are applying for unemployment. You know, I just graduated college or maybe I've been trying to look into this route. Maybe I'm very passionate about it, but I'm still wondering whether or not this route is for me because I still want to live my life. You know, I still want to be able to pay the bills. Maybe I want job stability. That's why I'm really wondering, is this route for me? So I'm pretty much just going to answer the question right now. As of right now, currently you can see so many people are getting laid off. My personal opinion is that maybe you should probably just hold off into it because as of right now, there are jobs that where even I thought were completely stable, some of them are getting laid off. You know, you have even government workers, you have health workers who are getting furloughed or just laid off. I don't know where I read it, but I saw like some cops and firefighters, even though these are state or like government jobs, they're still getting furloughed. I don't know if they're getting laid off, but they're not working. And so you would think that having a government job would be very stable, that no matter what happens, no matter what economic or pandemic or any sort of craziness happening in the world, you'd think that this government job is stable, it's secure, it's you know job stability, that's why everyone wants it. Maybe the pay is low, but everyone wants it because they're able to always overcome some sort of economic obstacle. When I saw some of these articles popping up, it also scared me because as an environmental engineer, you could either work in the public sector or the private sector, work for the government or private. It's not guaranteed that even these jobs are completely stable. So again, to answer your question, is now the right time to become an environmental engineer? Probably not. And before you leave, hear me out. So as of right now, probably not. But later on in the future, yes. Yes, definitely. And here's why I believe that. So right now with this whole pandemic, you can clearly see who is essential and who is non-essential. The frontliners are definitely essential in order to battle this pandemic. You have the nurses out there who are treating patients. If you believe that climate change and like the whole environmental impact will become a problem in the future, then yes, now's the time because as of right now, the demand for this job, for becoming an environmental engineer, is not so much. But later on in the future, if you truly believe that the environment will probably suck in the future, then the demand for anything sustainable or environmental related will go up. So it's really that sort of economics here, the supply and demand. I just don't know how long that will take for the demand to go up. So as of right now, there could be political issues, it could be environmental issues. If the environmental issues keep popping up, then yes, you'll probably see a surge in environmental related jobs. But for a president who cares about the environment, then he'll probably increase more jobs. You'll see things more sustainable related. And so that's a good opportunity for any environmentalists out there to, you know, have more job security. And so those are some factors. You have, you know, an environmental related, you have political related, but also it could be personally related. So if you are truly, truly passionate about like fighting climate change or really want to push out your sustainable efforts, really want to protect the environment in the future, then yes, it doesn't matter whether or not there's political issues. It doesn't matter about the economy, whether or not, you know, you have a job stability or not. If you are truly passionate about this career, then yes, go for it because in the end, money and his politics, you can't change someone like that. You can't have any control over that. But if you truly enjoy it, then yes, go for it because nothing's stopping you. That was why I chose this path. So I live in California between 2012 and 2016. That was when the California drought hit really hard. And because of that drought, because of this whole environmental issues, that was what led me to believe, oh, the environment is gonna be horrible in the future. I wanna be able to preserve the environment for future generations. And so that was why I switched majors and I chose environmental engineering. So that was just me personally, but your story will be different. Do heed my warning, I cannot guarantee a job for you. 
I cannot guarantee that you'll have job stability, that you'll be able to pay the bills, that whether or not you even work for government, that you'll be stable. I don't know which public or which private sector is still holding onto their environmental engineers. I know there are some that still need to, but maybe some others, they're furloughing them. Maybe they're laying them off. So if that scares you, then maybe this route isn't for you. So hopefully this video helps you guys, and I'm assuming that this video might sort of weed out people who are on the fence on whether or not they should become one or not, especially during trying times like this. Do keep in mind of like the risks and the benefits of becoming one. I made some videos on like the good and the bad of becoming an environmental engineer. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll put that somewhere up here or like down in the video description below. You just do you, okay? So if you really love it, just do it. Just go for it. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.